And Kenya's tourism sector can recoup at least 20% of its lost revenue by the end of the year if the economy is reopened by next week. Here's more from our very own Faisal Ahmed. Hit by an 80 billion shilling loss in revenues in the last three months, Kenya's tourism stares at further losses if the situation is not reversed. According to CS Najib Balala, a potential reopening of the economy would see the sector recoup at least 20% of its annual target. Unfortunately, 2020-2021, we only see a growth of only 20%. Not a growth, but we'll only recover 20% of what was 2019. So if we had 2 million people international coming, okay, 1.5 million people international coming, the ones from the uh, cross border will be normal, but the international arriving from the airport, we shall be lucky if we get 300,000 people arriving. Speaking during the launch of the sector reopening protocols in Nairobi, Balala warned that if this happens, players will have to faithfully follow the procedures or face consequences. Very careful. We will prefer, and the task force members have told them themselves, they must have a self-policing system. Because the Ministry of Tourism will not come there to police you. It's the association to go there and start policing you. So those are the things we want. For us to rise and optimize the gains in this sector during these times, all stakeholders must adopt these protocols and take responsibility of ensuring that a destination Kenya is safe for tourism business. As a result, all tourism and related businesses and service providers should embrace this participatory approach by subscribing, adhering to, and implementing the standard operating procedures. In the protocols, hotels are expected to regularly disinfect and sanitize food serving stations. Dining tables, chairs and bar stools will be separated at least 1.5 meters apart. Facilities should also use spaces like gardens, gazebos and terraces. Tourist service vehicle operators will also be required to provide a valid COVID-19 free certification for core staff not more than 14 days old. And also minimize walk-in clients and encourage online bookings. Already, high-end hotels, especially in Nairobi and other major towns, have announced compliance to the protocols as they seek to reverse the losses. The government now says that the honours lie with the industry actors to implement the new protocols to ensure safety of the visitors. This ahead of what is anticipated to be the reopening of the economy on the 6th of June by President Uhuru Kenyatta. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.